Welcome to this video. So far, we have learned to find the volume of solids formed by combining two or more solids and separation of solids from one to another. Today, we will understand the conversion of a solid from one shape to another. Suresh has a box of sweets, which contains 3 kilos of barfi. If the weight of each piece of barfi is 20 grams, can you tell how many cubes of barfi will be there? We have studied such situations in our previous classes. Based on which, we can say that there will be 150 barfi pieces in the box. Now, let's look at this piece of wood. Its length is 15 centimeters, width is 6 centimeters, and height is 8 centimeters. Can you guess the volume of this piece of wood? Perfect! The volume of this piece will be 720 cubic centimeters. If this piece of wood is cut into three equal pieces like this, can you find the volume of each small piece? Well done! The volume of each small piece is 240 cubic centimeters. You can see here that the volume of each small piece is equal to one third of the volume of the larger piece. Let us see some more examples. If we cut this piece of wood into five equal pieces this time, the volume of each piece will be 144 cubic centimeter, which is equal to one fifth of the volume of the larger piece. So, we can say that if a solid is converted into a smaller solid of equal measure, then the product of volume of the small solids and the total number of small solids is equal to the volume of the larger solid. Is it true for the entire surface area of solids? If we take this piece of wood and if we calculate the surface area of these five pieces made from it, you can see that this statement is false for the surface area of solids. Is it applicable only to solids of similar shape? No, this is true for all solids. Let's look at an example. If we melt this iron cylinder and make 24 cones of height 9 cm and radius 7 cm and then calculate their volumes, We will realize that this statement proves to be true even in this case. Today, in this video, we learned that on converting a large solid into small solids, volume of large solid is equal to volume of small solid multiplied by the total number of solids.